Hi guys, it's your girl Natalie, the One True Diamond, coming at you with D2S366. This is day 115, determined to satisfy 366, day 115 for me. Whoop, whoop. Okay, um, yeah, so still hanging in there with everything and yeah i just finished working out this is my accountability video i just finished working out and i did 25 minutes on my treadmill um as i was looking someone on facebook had posted um how much water we should be drinking a day and it was like for my weight, I think I should be drinking 110 ounces, which was like six and a half bottles. And I'm like, no wonder I ain't dropping no weight or doing nothing because y'all already know I don't get that much water in. So I have got to pick it up and pick it up fast. I I got to <laughs> I got to do something. I got to move, move. <laughs> yes, I got to move and pick this stuff up up because it ooh, which I knew I need to improve on my water intake but to know that I was that far off it's like oh my god how have you been surviving so that is my number one goal that will be for next week is to definitely chug a lug more water and I think I don't know I don't know how I'm gonna do it but I'm going to think of something because it's got to be done. It has got to be done. No ands, if, buts about it. I got to get it and get it. I, I have got to get it in. Okay. So that's going to be my goal for next week. I'm just going to focus on water intake. And, you know, I'm still continuing to follow um, the Weight Watchers plan, you know, to the best I can do, best I know how. Because, I mean, right now, I just feel like get me looking down at myself. <laughs> Y'all can't see the fatness. <laughs> but I just feel like I am just so stagnated, like I'm stuck at this one level. And I know it is possible to lose this weight. I know it's possible to get down past this. But I feel stuck right here. Like my body says, no, I'm comfortable here. And this is where I'm going to stay. But this is not where I want it to be at. So I need for it to move, move, move. Move right out of my way. Move it, move it. <laughs> Y'all know what movie that came from. So anyway, um, I need it to move out of my way, okay? So I'm going to show y'all my stats. I've been doing my, um, this Fitbit Blaze. And then, um, yeah, I'm going to show y'all this. I did not get my steps in yesterday at all. I said I was very not active that much yesterday because I only got in like 4,000 and something. It was close to 5,000 steps. My goal is 10,000 steps a day, so I need to really move it up. I need to pick it up if I'm going to ever hit 10,000 steps because I'm definitely not doing it. Even on my work day, I think I only got up to 6,000 on my work day, so I'm still not even getting up to where I need to be at. Um, oh, let me click this one. Stop. Finish. Okay. So I'm still not even getting where I need to be at with that. So this is helping me see that I'm not moving as much as I really should be moving. So, um, so yeah, I got to get better with that. Um, what was I going to tell y'all? I don't know. I'll figure out what it was. Because I just can't remember. Okay. So my results. 34 minutes, 29 seconds. I took 1,873 steps. Walked 0.05 miles. That's the only thing I think. I think this thing is not calculating miles accurately. Because my treadmill is saying I walked a mile. According to them, I did a mile with what I did. But this thing here does not track mileage from what I'm noticing as good. It's like I got to get at least 5,000 steps or 4,000 and something just to get a mile by this. So I don't know if it's not calculated right or what's quite right with that, but it's not giving me my miles, I don't think, accurately. So um, 
I don't know what to do about that. I'm going to see if I can go find some information on it and see what other people say. Because I did, we were talking to a nurse last night. Daddy's mom's in the hospital. And poor Miss Alice, she's not doing um, that well. She, um, she was kind of talking out of her head and stuff. And, you know, I just went in and, you know, started, you know, washing her face and stuff up. Because, you know, she was like, because she's blind now. She's blind. She's been blind for a while. And her eyes had started draining. So, you know, I was just cleaning her face up and stuff. And then I looked over. Derek had broke down. I'm like, Lord, please. You know, because, you know, it was like he just can't stand seeing his mom like that. And who can, you know, because she was really confused. She, you know, I had to keep reorientating orienting her to who I was, who was there. He was there with me. And, you know, she kept saying people told her she was in Virginia. You know, she was just very, very, very confused last night. Um, but, you know, we got her straight in the bed and um, fed her. She did eat because she kept saying, you know, and I think in her mind, too, because they got her on a liquid diet. And in her mind, I think she thinks she's not eating because even after I fed her, she said, I'm so hungry. I sure would like something to eat. You know, and I'm like, I just fed her, but I got back up and gave her some more because she didn't eat all her soup. So I gave her that. And, you know, it's just sad. So y'all who know a word of prayer, y'all say a prayer for Miss Alice that she will bounce back. And, you know, whatever is going on with her, you know, that she'll get well. So y'all say a prayer for her and Derek, um, you know, through this this time right now. Because it's kind of tough, you know, to see your mom failing. And you never thought you would see her failing, you know. So never see her help failing someone who has raised you. You never thought you would see that. So, yeah, that's kind of, you know, that's kind of where we're at right now. So, <clears throat> um. I don't even know why I said that to say this, but even with that, I still didn't get enough steps or anything in because we didn't get home till late and everything. And so, yeah, um, didn't get a whole lot of steps. Oh, shoot. Ugh. It's gone. I don't even know how to get. I hit the wrong button. Oh, man, that's going to start over a new one. Okay, so. Let me see if I can pull it up on my phone. Anyway, y'all just trust me. I did 25 minutes on the treadmill. Because that's that watch just cut off on me. It cut off on me. Why are you looking for it? It's right here, sink. Let me see if it'll show up. It's sinking now. Okay. So, so far, I'll show y'all my stats on the phone. So far I've walked 2,252 feet, burnt 925 calories. Like that's in between sleep and what I just worked out, I guess. And as you see, it says 24 active minutes. You can't see that, can you? Nah. I'll just post it, I guess, in the Facebook group at the end of the day when I get finished with all my tracking because you can't see that. And it says I did 0.4 miles on the treadmill, which I'm like, I don't believe that one. Calories, 1,866 left. I guess that's what they give you a day or whatever. I don't know if it's out of 2,000 calories. I don't know. I don't know. But anywho... I can't show y'all because the glare from the phone to this is not showing. And then I made a mistake and cut the watch, hit the wrong button with the watch as I was talking. So, anywho, it is what it is. I worked out. This is my accountability video. Just trust and believe I did. Um, how I'm liking the blaze compared to my polar. Um, I mean, it's ease. It's very easy to use. Just like, um, reminds me of almost of something from Apple is what it reminds me of. If you want to know the truth, it, it reminds me kind of like Apple, like an Apple device is almost how it functions. Very easy to use. I'll put it that way. And I guess that's why I love the Apple device because Apple is just, to me, it's easy. Even though people say that's not the best thing, you know, like they joke me about it. But I'm like, it is so easy to maneuver through it, you know, they made it from just specially for me, childproof. <laughs> but I think I like my polar better because I feel like when I'm working out, it's giving me more accurate. You know, I think I'm getting 
because it's like I'm saying my beats per minute it's seem like it's more accurate faster up here and calories burnt I feel like it's just more accurate because you have the strap that you strap around your body as you're working out okay and I like that but I don't want to wear the strap all day at work and all of that and calculate my steps and you know all of that so I just um that's why I wanted a heart rate monitor but knowing that I got this one I'm now thinking should I have got an Apple should I return this and just get me an Apple watch I don't know so um I'm really thinking about because this is just my third day with it maybe I'm really thinking about returning and getting an Apple watch but like I say I'm just I'm I'm just thinking about it. I don't know. I think a, I don't know. I probably would pay like two fifty for the Apple Watch compared to what I have for this. And I'm like I'm getting the same thing here as the Apple Watch would because my texts come through here. I can see what someone's texting me. My phone. I can't remember if my phone rings through here or not. I'm trying to think. Did my phone ever ring through there? I know my texts come through, but I'm not sure about my phone calls coming through. So, yeah, so I don't know. I'll think about it in the next day or so. And if so, I'll just return and get me an Apple Watch. That'll be an even better birthday gift <laughs> to myself because y'all know the watch was to myself. Um, but anywho, I'm going to get here for now. I got to talk too much. I'm going to try not to talk as much on these videos. But anyway, I will see you guys in my next video. This is my day 115. Whatever day it is for you, you make it the best day that it can be. Y'all stay blessed. Have a wonderful, wonderful Sunday. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.